power will be shut off for 65,000 Northern California electric customers in 16 counties to prevent the spread of wildfires that have engulfed areas of the state on Sunday. Wind-driven wildfires erupted in the heart of the state's Napa Valley wine country and spread across more than 1,000 acres, forcing evacuation in several hundred homes and a hospital. Correspondent Eddie Stevenson reports. These workers are salvaging grapes that can still make good wine as they miss the harvest season by several weeks. This year, the biggest issue between the heat wave and the, um, and the fires, and then you throw in the COVID issue, was we have a significant decrease in production this year. Todd Hickman runs this family-owned vineyard for over 20 years, striving to make quality wine, but he's constantly having to adapt to the changing climate conditions. So yeah, the heat is definitely an issue. It's been getting hotter and hotter every year. So um, one of the tools obviously is to add more water, give the grape more water, keep the soil um, wetter. So that's going to help the grape. But the biggest push is I'm changing the varietals that I'm growing. In many parts of Northern California, this year's grape harvest season was delayed initially because of the heat waves. But in some regions like this one, they saw yet another delay because of the wildfires and evacuation orders. In this vineyard alone, the owner says he lost at least 50% of the crops. And in wildfire zones, the smoke ash falling on the grapes could give a smoke taint to the wine they yield. The smoke was low and there was lots of ash and you could actually see the ash on the grapes. You know, that's a whole nother issue. Then, you know, definitely I could see how there could be some taste and some issues with that. With a distillery located adjacent to the harvest site, it's a small field to flask production. The bigger part of their business relies on agritourism which has gone down significantly. More than like 75% of my business is down because the fact that we're not allowed to have events and people don't really come out for tastings because we were closed for a while. We are now allowed to be open for outdoor tastings. They were aiming to celebrate their 10th anniversary with the largest expected growth this year, but it's turning out to be the worst and they aren't even bottling any wines this year. Because we don't have the tourists coming in and don't know when the tourists are going to be able to come in, we can't, we can't really do that right now. We can only take all of our money that we have and just put it towards bills. Their hopes for a gradual reopening were crushed by the wildfires. And one, it's super hot because um, it's been hotter than normal for summers. So they won't come out because it's hot. And then two, they're not going to come out due to the fact that uh, the air quality is horrible and so no one goes goes anywhere and three of the fires have closed a lot of the freeways that people are going to be traveling on so a lot of people can't even get to us anymore climate conditions and wildfires are transforming california's wine industry while potentially reducing the number of bottles that will go on the market in coming months